Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, uh, slightly heavier set, but somehow more athletic PewDiePie. Let's get right into the content today. Brands. Facebook. 2010 to 2013. Low res images. You know, these are all words that I really want to get into today. What got me thinking about this was, I don't know about you guys, uh, but ever since this whole uh, Rona thing started, I haven't been able to, to sleep. I have two modes. It's either I am awake perpetually for 48 hours plus, or I'm sleeping for an entire week. There is no in between. As you can see, I've got the old uh, snowball back out, but it's literally just to sync up my audio. Yeah, I had way too many issues with it the last time I tried to use it. And I just don't think, uh, I don't think I've personally vibe with that right now. This, this stuff is absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna say it right now. I really like seltzer, and this is just the worst. This is the worst. This is so bad. But I'm gonna drink it because when mama put something down on your plate when I was a kid, you ate it or you went to bed hungry. Yes, yes. Last night was one of the nights I just wasn't able to sleep. And I started to go on a bit of a, a journey, uh, as it were, through time without uh, number one, psychedelics, and number two, a time machine, because I don't believe either one of those exist. Um, however, the thing I got just absolutely enamored with is old brands and old famous people's Facebook pages. I don't mean a, like a page that they had and then they abandoned, and I don't mean old famous people as in like friggin' Kenny Rogers or like friggin' Johnny Cash, you know, he's, he was kinda old. Um, you know, he's dead now. So I just got, I got to thinking, why is nobody talking about this? It's some of the most asinine images I've ever seen in my entire life with almost zero context come from Facebook and big brand names or large famous people, not overweight famous people, just people that were very famous at the time and still probably are. The best content you can imagine. It's like they had almost 10 years worth of foresight for the modern meme era. It's just deep fried and low res images that mean nothing. First example, Doritos, October the 21st, 2012. We have dog. Just dog, that's, that's what we have. You posted that. Which dog would you rather cast in your cash the Super Bowl ad? This guy. So I don't know what any of that means. Uh, I'll say it right now. I'm not too proud to admit that. I got really stuck on like basically food and, and carbonated beverages, but <laughs> someone shared with me a post today uh, from Sonic the Hedgehog. And by the way, first off, before we go any farther about Sonic the Hedgehog, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, it, was more, it was like when everybody else was like Mario where I was, I was like, no, Sonic the Hedgehog. I love Sonic the Hedgehog, and yes, I played Shadow the Hedgehog, and I got every single ending. I'm very sad and broken on the inside. Um, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, what are you doing? I feel like I asked that a lot with Sonic the Hedgehog, including with, with Shadow the Hedgehog. That whole video game was just, what are you doing? Disgusting black creatures, get out of my sight. Damn, not here. However, Sonic the Hedgehog, their PR team for like, I, or I guess the social media team, not their PR team, but their so, social media team in particular, usually kills the game, unironically. They have some really funny posts, both on Twitter and on Facebook, and I absolutely love them because I love Sonic the Hedgehog, and I like the fact that they realize that the property that they have, they can't do anything with. Um, and they can't really market it because it's... How are you going to market a blue hedgehog that goes fast? What is this image? As you can see in the comments section, um, these are all very recent because a page shared it. Uh, however, R. R. She got the hand of David there. Uh, is she putting in a contact? I don't know. What was going on in July of 2012? What is this? Oh. Oh, certified lady killer right there. Okay, so what I'm guessing this was was kind of like a, a for Sonic Boom. This has got to be at some gaming convention or something like that where they set up a photo booth that would automatically share it to their Facebook page um, with either your name or, or a little message that you had as long as it passed through the, the social media team. Smart move, uh, because if I was there, 
I would be putting a lot of stuff in the message boards, like, and that probably, if it was just automatically posted, would probably get Sonic the Hedgehog taken off of Facebook. <laughs> oh my word. These are, oh, this one's great. That one's so good. Mao, Mo, Mo, just Mo. You know, just mo things. Hashtag just mo things. Uh, can we get a hashtag just mo things trending on Twitter? We're, we're scrolling back. I should have had this all prepared before I turned on the recording software and the camera, but we're gonna do it live. I can't do it. We'll do it live. We're gonna move on to the king of older Facebook content that's just out of this world and has endless potential, then mother flippin' Diesel. This is the first one I pulled up. I typed in 2011 to the search bar. What does any of this mean? Does this mean he's in Brazil? Does this mean he's thinking of Brazil? I don't know who that is. You can't fault the man for, for lifting, you know? Absolute king, man. Ooh. And happy two-year anniversary to you, Vin Diesel. I don't know what it is about Vin Diesel and his online presence. Just look at this image. Look at it. Do not look away from it. Don't look away from it. Look at it. Look at this image. Okay, so we're gonna move on from that. Vin booked two years. He posted it twice. So was it, was it April the 6th or was it April the 3rd, Vin? That's your two year Vin book anniversary. Or maybe this was like the predecessor because this kind of looks like a trailer. You know, it's got a black background. He's kind of solemn. Kind of looking like, uh, he's kind of got the old uh, the Jotaro stance from uh, oh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh gosh. Oh my word, I need to go to bed. I'm sorry, I'm taking, I'm taking so long at Vin Diesel because Vin Diesel is personally one of my favorite Facebook pages on the whole platform. Bar none, I love Vin Diesel's Facebook page. Where'd the Sonic one go? Y'all remember when, um, this is just kinda, like I said in the, in the beginning, the kinda like 2010 to 2013 era uh, was like my, kinda my favorite era on Facebook and just kinda online as a whole because it was kinda more or less the Wild West and right now it really is. Um, every time there's an election coming up with the U.S., not to get political, uh, there's a, it turns into the, the absolute wild, wild west, uh, starring Will Smith. Dare I say, I live for that chaos. I love that so much. Do y'all remember when, <laughs> let's bring it, bring it back to the uh, topic at hand. Y'all remember when Epic and For the Win were like things? Oh, like I want to use the term epic so badly in my daily vernacular. That's a $10 word right there. But I can't because I feel like, I just, I feel like I shop at Hot Topic in the early 2000s. Do you know what I mean? Every time it comes out of my mouth, like all of a sudden I've got like a, a black um, wrist bracelet and it's got spikes on it, you know? I've got like a studded belt. I got a chain that keeps my wallet in doesn't have any money in it because I'm going nowhere in this life. Epic, epic desk, desk prank with just, I mean like, we're gonna take a look at this. First off, let's get the story behind it because this one actually, unlike a lot of Sonic's posts, back to Sonic, by the way, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place and I understand that. We're back to Sonic, keep up, okay? The lore is rich here. Epic desk prank, um, Aaron was out of town for a few weeks. We had a bit of fun with his, with his cube. Maybe a bit too much fun. Just a taste. We'll have some better assets. This amazing creation very, very soon. They never updated this, by the way. So, uh, hey, Sonic Team, if you ever see this, let's start off with um, low poly Sonic the Hedgehog, which is just, I guess they turned his cubicle. I'm trying to figure out this picture right now. They turned his cubicle into the, uh, like kind of like Green Hill Zone. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, I know my locales in Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? Yeah. And then we just got the best. Aaron, I don't know what you're doing now. I don't. Um, but you look so genuine in this image. I want to hug you. I just want to give you a good old hug. I don't know. 
How many? Holy cow! This, this was ten years ago. This was a decade ago. Aaron, buddy, um, regardless of what this life has had in store for you, I want to get in contact with you. Okay? Feel free to drop a comment down below. I will see it because no one else watches my channel. We're gonna move forward with this video. We took a step back going back to Sonic. Uh, we're gonna move forward. Katie Mother Flippin Perry. Jackpot. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, so first off, Mark Zuckerberg is definitely, I don't know if he's part of the elite reptilians that rule over us, but he is definitely a reptilian. That man's a lizard, okay? This is the only time he's ever felt human emotion was when he was next to Katy Perry, which brother, I can agree with. You guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing what's on my screen? Is it on your screen right now? And then there's this one. She's hanging out with other people. I can barely keep my eyes open right now, guys. Um, so I wanna thank you guys very much so for watching and coming down this rabbit hole with me. Uh, I'm probably gonna do more of this because, guys, there's so much on Facebook. There's so much gold just there, waiting to be mined, you know? God help us all.